<laughs> Anakin, Anakin, Anakin. Number 10, huh? This doesn't piss anyone off, does it? This whole operation was your idea. This is gonna be one of the most controversial ones, I think, on the actual list. Anakin Skywalker is not a hero. I'm sorry, did you say Anakin Skywalker is number 10? <laughs> We're still talking about the greatest heroes? Is that, is that right? I understand why one would put Anakin on this list, but when I think about Anakin, I can't not think about Darth Vader. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker is a young child who was immaculately conceived by the Force and is the chosen one who's meant to bring balance to the Force and the universe and be everybody's savior, I guess? But it's really what happens inside of the Clone Wars that you see this portrayal of Anakin the way that Obi-Wan described him in Episode 4, the great pilot, the great warrior. You saw all of that and you understood it. Anakin's heroic acts in Clone Wars animated series are some of the most incredible stuff I think that's ever been put down about Star Wars. That's encouraging. His relationship with Ahsoka Tano really humanizing him and seeing the other levels of humanity that Anakin has. My squadron alone had 55 kills. Yeah, but mine had 76. Show off. One of those things where you have the balance between who Anakin Skywalker is and who Darth Vader is. Anakin ends in Revenge of the Sith, but he picks himself back up at the very end of Return of the Jedi. I'm asking everybody out there, what makes him a hero? He killed a bunch of kids, he slaughtered a whole lot of Jedi. I'm gonna take the Darth Vader out of this equation because once he turns into Darth Vader, he's blowing up planets, he's slaughtering, he's executing Order 66. As Anakin Skywalker, okay, he, he won a pod race, that's nice. You gotta look at where all of that ends for a character, and it didn't end in the best place for him. I do believe in redemption and feeling sorry, and I give him credit for that, but look at all the problems he caused and the lives that he took. No matter what you think of the prequels, no matter what you think of anything, Anakin Skywalker is the central figure of the entire franchise. The first six movies all revolve around Anakin Skywalker's ultimate destiny to restore balance to the galaxy. Watching his son die in front of his eyes, he finally came to the light and made that last final sacrifice to save his son. And I think that is a very powerful thing. There was so much good to Anakin before he turned to the dark side that he absolutely should be in this list. He is, in the end, a heroic character. And I know some people are gonna push back and go, oh, he killed people, he beheaded people. Uh, come on. <laughs> Look at him as a whole, and as a whole, he is a heroic character that deserves to be in the top 10 list. Okay, okay. Chewie number nine, I think, is a good spot for him, actually. Definitely happy he made the top 10 list. Ah, oh, finally, we get a hero on the list of the 10 greatest Star Wars heroes of all time. Chewie is so much like R2, where he just does not get enough credit because we don't understand verbally what he's doing. But he is like the dad of many of the main characters. Chewie's been there. He, a, another person who is a rock, someone who is always prepared. He's been a staple since the beginning of the first time we ever saw him in episode four. But we also, you, you throw back to when he was on Kashyyyk in episode three, he was fighting in the wars. And then Solo, he has a run and we see how he actually connects with Han Solo, the things that he does. Ah, see what happens when you listen to me? Hey, what are you doing? The right-hand man of Han Solo, great pilot. Chewie keeps him in line and he's, he's always there for him and for everybody else. Chewbacca has been a shining beacon of hope throughout the saga. He is loyal. He has saved the day on numerous occasions. Chewie! The ability to take someone in Han Solo who questionable at many times and steer him back into heroism because there's many times when Han Solo would rather just get that money instead of do what's right. What are you looking at? I know what I'm doing. 
is there really a bad bone in Chewie's body? Every single time I've seen him on screen, he's always doing the right thing. He's always there for the people that he's fighting alongside and the people that he loves. He is a good friend. He is a great warrior. He deserves the rank of General Two, which Han and Lando got, and he didn't. I think the latter half of the top 10 is good for Chewbacca. I don't think he should go up much higher. And if he had made the honorable mention, I, I think that would have been fine anyways, as long as he made the list in some ways. Do your best Chewie impression. No. Kanan. Good to see Kanan on the level. Oh, sorry, was that a pun? Because Kanan didn't see all too well. But Kanan's great. I like Kanan. I was going to cause hell if Kanan Jarrus wasn't on this list. The fact that Kanan made it into the top 10 shows you that Rebels is working, shows you that Star Wars is hitting some really great strides with the fandom. We'll see each other again. I promise. So Kanan Jarrus is the secret identity of Caleb Dune, who survived the clones attacking their Jedi masters with Order 66. After that, fixed himself up, met Hera, and became part of the Rebellion. Someone who is a great fighter, someone who is a great soldier. He's definitely more on the light side, and he is looking to help out others, and he was training Ezra Bridger in Rebels. Do or do not, there is no try. What does that even mean? How can I do something if I don't try to do it? Well, see... Actually, that one always confused me too, but Master Yoda sure used to say it a lot. Without him, it's over. This is a spoiler for you guys who haven't watched Rebels, so fast forward this part, all right? You've been warned. He sacrifices himself. He loses his eyes. And like what some, some people would do, go to the dark side, give up, become a drunk. He doesn't. He becomes more one with the force. He sees through the force. Wait, when you make the ultimate sacrifice for the cause, that makes you a hero, especially if your pattern has been to do heroic things and take on these missions to help the rebellion against the empire. How can you not be a hero in that way? And being calm and cool and collected the entire time is a true Jedi. And that character is so important, I think, to the mythology of the Jedi. There's a whole lot of emotional content when you take a, a look at that character. I say look too, the guy's, the guy's blind and I keep making these puns. I'm sorry to everybody, I'm sorry, Freddie. Ahsoka Tano had to be on this list, come on. Ahsoka was my number two. <laughs> Ahsoka Tano! Uh, such a fantastic character that uh, Filoni introduced into the world of Star Wars. Ahsoka Tano is one of my favorite characters in the non-movie stuff. So Ahsoka Tano is Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. She starts off as the spunky kid sidekick character, but ultimately has a, a super interesting character. She is the best character from Clone Wars. End of story. Young Jedi. You'll learn your place. I'm not so young anymore. She was hated in the first time we ever saw her in the Clone Wars movie. Ahsoka Tano became one of the most beloved characters in Star Wars in general through her arcs in the Clone Wars, carrying over into Rebels. But to see her grow and evolve over the course of animated series, getting a more in-depth look at who Ahsoka is in her book as well, really that turned out to be one of the most interesting layered characters of the entire Star Wars franchise. Ahsoka in the first season is still finding her way, but I think once Anakin and Snips really start developing their relationship in season two, and it just keeps going and keeps getting stronger and stronger and better and better, Ahsoka really comes into her own as a magnificent character. Even after leaving the, the Jedi Order, she was able to still help the Rebellion and use the Force for good. Her journey through Clone Wars is so much fun to watch and really enjoyable, and so that when she shows up in Star Wars Rebels, she's a fully realized powerful force, and when you see her take on Anakin, it's incredible. Yes, Ahsoka deserves to be in the list. Number seven is a perfect spot for her, in my opinion. I'm glad she's here. Ahsoka Tano is just is a brilliant character, and I'm so glad that she made it into the Star Wars galaxy and in this list. Oh, I love that Ray is on this list. Ray deserves to be on this list. Woo! I like this! 
we have to have Ray on the list. Ray is someone I don't think should be on the top 10 just yet. I don't think she's proven herself, yo. I, I, you know, she, she did move some rock. Lifting rocks. I think that's about right because she is a solid character, but she is in the, the new wave. Rey is just this nobody scavenger on Jakku until she meets BB-8 and also Finn and then goes on this, I guess, a whirlwind adventure where she realizes there's so much more to her than she could have ever expected. There are so many similarities to Luke Skywalker, even when we see her go and meet her hero, even in the face of thinking that she can turn Kylo Ren to the good side and then realizing that he's gonna do that Sith thing and try to get her to join him and take over the galaxy, what does she do? No, she turns her back on and she leaves to go back to the resistance and save the day. She's the one that ultimately gets Luke back in the game. Luke was checked out, Luke was done. It's this kid who's able to go and find her. It's this kid that was able to connect back to the Force, to get him to connect back into the Force. And it was because, it was. what, is, what does he say to Kylo at the end? I will not be the last of the Jedi. And it's because of Rey and that vision of Rey. And Luke woke the F up because of Rey. I don't think people understand Rey as well as they could. She often gets written off as being hyper competent. <laughs> She is a hero because she has this, this thing going on inside of her. It's very similar to what previous Jedi Knights have had to battle with. It's that internal, I, I, I don't necessarily want that, I didn't ask for this power, but there's things going on in the galaxy that only somebody like myself can help. I'm never touching that thing again. I don't want any part of this. <laughs> What a discovery in Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley as Rey is incredible. The minute she appeared on screen, everyone fell in love with her, including me. Just looks like a bundle of light. Rey and Daisy Ridley have this similarity of this unknown who just this amazing talent who's just hidden away and bursts onto the scene. And that's what happens with Rey. Luke Skywalker, I thought he was a myth. Ray is where she needs to be. She deserves to spawn already in her young career on the top 10. Ray should be on your honorable mentions. I don't think she's climbed that hill just yet, but Ray, she's, she's going places.